three, two, one, let's go. Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing the debut LP from the Canadian singer Lennon Stella. This one is entitled Three, two, one. Lennon Stella is the daughter of country music duo The Stellas, composed of Brad and Mary Lynn Stella. Against the grain of nepotism, Lennon has made a name for herself too. She starred on the ABC television series Nashville alongside her younger sister Maisie, who makes a feature on this record. Prior to going solo, Lennon actually used to perform as part of the sister duo Lennon and Maisie. Now, from a young age, Lennon has flourished, and she is a currently rising pop star. She's opened for the likes of Five Seconds of Summer and The Chainsmokers. She's collaborated with Liam Payne, and more impressively, she's younger than me. She was born in 1999. It's like I'm getting to that point where pop stars are going to be younger than me, and it's just disappointing because all I'm doing is uh, criticizing music instead of playing. Beyond that, though, the other Another personal tie I have with Lennon is her hometown of Oshawa, Ontario. Uh, that's only a, a short drive away from me, at least. It's the only other personal tie I have. Just give me that one, okay? More about Lennon's career, though, and it's not like I'm trying to, like, leech off her success or something. Uh, in 2018, she released the EP Love Me, which uh, got Lennon quite a bit of attention because of her song La Di Da. I mean, it's also cool that she's named after John Lennon, but her music career overall has been nothing but a success so far, and I've become an instant fan because of her chill and laid-back sound, uh, much to the likes of Troy Sivan. Winning Me Over wasn't a hard thing to do, especially with the lead single for this album, Kissing Other People, that dropped in November 2019. On this track, Lennon showcases her charisma and charm, uh, I love the uplifting and theatrical chorus on this one. From there, we also had another teaser track with Fear of Being Alone. That one was released a bit more recently. Amazingly, though, Lennon incorporated alternative rock with dance elements. We had a catchy hook on there, a great groove. Definitely my favorite single coming into this album's release. Now, diving into the rest of this record, it quickly became apparent that uh, it was going to be chocked full of sad kind of club music. We have a slight EDM tinge and uh, just delicate vocals that dangle like uh, a fine thread. Weirdly enough, on a song like Good Night, I'm getting uh, Troy Sivan vibes, especially with his most recent single, Take Yourself Home. You look to another track on here, Pretty Boy, more Troy Sivan influence. We have uh, subtle melodic ideas that will just find a way and dig into your brain and you will remember them. Elsewhere, if you're a fan of Alessia Cara, Jealous is a song I'd have to recommend if you're looking for uh, something with like a bit more bombastic drums and a heftier vocal arrangement. If you're into Billie Eilish, the song Weakness, Huey Lewis is one that you'll want to keep your eyes on. This track is like almost an eight minute long opus. Uh, it switches up its vibe halfway through, kind of plays like a, a Billie Eilish song from the vocal delivery and performance down to the production. This is also the cut where Lennon's sister Maisie uh, makes her appearance as a, a very well welcomed inclusion uh, to this song. Now, as much as I spent the last minute building up the comparisons to uh, Lennon's contemporaries, uh, this can also be the greatest downside to her music as well, uh, not really allowing herself to fully grow and become a distinguishable artist. It's not like she's riding off of other artists' coattails or anything like that, it's just a hard thing for me uh, to ignore or separate myself from when listening to her music. Despite that, the most subpar quality uh, on this record isn't necessarily the influences, it's more of the uh, explorations that Lennon has with some musical passages, and they feel a little bit without purpose or direction. The song Golf on TV wanders around aimlessly, just like its lyrical content really is just a, a mediocre tune with uh, a minimal mix. The track Older Than I Am doubles down on that slow and sentimental vibe that much of this record has. It has a great vocal performance. I don't want to take that away from it because uh, it those vocals truly soar, but I just feel like Lennon was missing this uh, backing presence behind her to give that instrumental a bit more uh, extra emotional punch. Getting things back on track though, there is a great song on this album entitled Bend Over Backwards. On here we have a haunting organ and an upbeat instrumental with reverberating bass. It's almost like we're back in the club and Lennon, she's in control of her relationships and she doesn't uh, want to change herself, she wants to stay true to who she is. 
because that's always an empowering message to hear, no matter how many times I've heard it before. The intro cut on 321 is also a highlight. Much Too Much is the name of that one. Uh, here we have Lennon looking back on this intense relationship, only to realize that uh, it's a little more surface level than what you thought. Again, a chill vibe, that's what most of these songs have going for them, uh, but I just love the bouncy synthesizers and beat. Uh, we have Lennon who beautifully controls her vocals. Other positives on this project include the song Games, which uh, has a coy, uh, cunning, and ironic game video game reference. Then we have the song Since I Was a Kid, which has dazzling production. It really does open up once that chorus hits. Summarizing my thoughts here, again, the aesthetics and style, uh, they are similar to Troy Sivan and Alessia Cara, so if you're into those artists, I feel like you'd be into this album as well. That being said, I do hope to see Lennon Stella distinguish herself on the next album. I hope to see her round out her sound, flesh out a few song ideas here and there just to make songs a bit longer than two or two and a half minutes. Still, this is a commendable debut full of sad club hits. I know Lennon, she wanted to ignore all the outside pressure on this album, make something that was true to her. And she does stay true to that statement for the most part, but I just can't help but to feel that Lennon, she ended up wearing her influences on her sleeve so much that uh, she kind of blends in with her contemporaries instead of standing out. The highlights on this record are great though. With all that being said, I am feeling a strong 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching this review. If you'd like to sound off down below in the comments, uh, leave your thoughts, leave a like if you like today's video, subscribe if you're new in town, I'd appreciate that very much. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a rockin' day.